Welcome back to this episode of Butler's Inventor Playground. Today we're going to take a look at how to create our monkey bar assembly in Inventor. If you take a look, we have one, two horizontal monkey bars. We have one, two, three, four monkey bar ladders and quite a few poles to place as well. A thing to note is when we put the ladder underneath, it needs to go underneath the horizontal monkey bar, not on the outside of it. Okay, and we'll reference that again once we get closer. So let's start. Let's go up to File and go down to New. And we're going to choose an inventor assembly. This one right here, Standard Assembly, uh, Standard IAM, and click Create. We're going to choose Place from our ribbon bar at the top. And we're going to get our horizontal monkey bar. Click Open. We're going to click to place one of them. Press the Escape key. This first part we need to ground, so we're going to come over to our model browser on the left hand side. Put your mouse on the blue block in front of that horizontal monkey bar. Right click with your middle finger on the mouse and we're going to go about three quarters of the way down to grounded. Right here is grounded. Next, we're going to go up and place again. We have seven holes, so we need seven monkey poles. Select monkey pole from your H drive, click open. And we're going to take and place one pole by each of the holes. Press escape when you're done. If one of them's a little off, not a big deal. You can always move these around. They're not constrained yet. And now let's place them into the horizontal monkey bars. We're going to constrain. And from here in our drawing, we are going to use the insert aligned command to place these monkey poles in here. Insert and aligned. So we find that in our constraint window. And we're going to choose our insert command, which looks like a peg going into a hole and we want to line the one on the right hand side. And this goes pretty swiftly. We want the red arrow when we touch our monkey pole with our mouse to be pointing up. If you're too far down on the monkey pole, that arrow is going to point down and it's not going to work out for us. So we want that red arrow pointing up. And then select the hole that it's going to go into. And click Apply. See how that's nice and even flush to the end there? That's exactly what we want. Let's go into the next one. Red arrow pointing up to the hole it's going into and click apply. And the rest of them should go fairly quickly for you. Make sure you click apply after each one. And especially on the last one, make sure you click apply please. Press cancel and let's go home. Looks great so far. Now we need that other horizontal monkey bar out here on the side. So we're going to place that part. Click place, go to your H drive, and let's get another horizontal monkey bar and click open. We're going to place it fairly close to where they are going to line up for us. Don't place it on top of the poles please. Place it off to the side, give us a little bit of room, but the holes are aligned across. The extra monkey pole, or sorry, extra horizontal monkey bar that's attached to your cursor, let's press escape to let go of that, and now let's constrain. We're going to do that insert, the peg going into the hole again, and we want insert aligned. Click the monkey pole, and the hole that it's closest to that it aligns with, and that places them together. Click Apply, press Cancel. Now this looks like we're pretty good. None of the poles move. However, this last horizontal monkey bar that we added on, it does move, it pivots. So we want to make, make that not happen, and we have to put another constraint on there. So we're going to tip it up a little bit, and then we're going to get our constraint window open again. We want to have Insert and Aligned, we want to select that monkey pole way off on the end over here, and we want the back side of the hole that it's going to go into. Not the front side on this one, the back one. And click to select it. Click Apply, press Cancel, and now that part doesn't pivot on us or move on us anymore. We're looking great. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to give us a little bit of extra working room. Because what's going to be coming next are these one, two, three, four monkey ladders that we have to place on. And these are going to be added and constrained with mate and flush command. Mate and a flush command. So let's take a look at how to do that. We're going to place, we're going to get our monkey bar ladder, click open, and we're going to place them kind of close to where we want them to be attached. And this one doesn't go very good so we're just going to place them over to the side. 
and press escape once you have all four of those down. We're going to start with this one here. We're going to constrain. I want to make sure I'm on my mate command and I want to mate the skinny end of my monkey ladder. And now I want it to go to the underneath side of the horizontal monkey bar. There are a couple ways we can do that and rotate this around. I'm going to show you both of them. The first one is in our world view cube. I'm going to click the back lower left hand corner. That's going to rotate it up for us. And I know that I want it to go to the underneath of this horizontal monkey bar. So I'm going to get my mouse placed there and click to place it and click apply. When I zoom in on this, it looks like it's attached, but I'm still not even with the sides. So now I'm going to attach a flush command to this, and I'm going to flush the left side of my horizontal monkey bar to the left side of the ladder, and click Apply. I can see I'm off over here still, so I'm going to flush again the front of my horizontal monkey bar to the front of my monkey bar ladder, and click Apply. Press Cancel, and let's go home. So we got one attached. Let's do the next one. We're going to try this back one back here. So let's constrain again. Make sure that our mate command is selected. And I want to mate the top of this monkey bar ladder. And on this time I'm going to use my orbit tool. It gives you kind of a scope here for us to rotate through. Put your mouse on the inside of it. We're going to rotate up and around. Go slow with your rotating if you're using this option. It kind of moves pretty fast on you. Press the escape key to let go of the rotate command. And now I'm going to zoom in on the back side of where I want this attached. Press apply. You can see we're not lined up even Steven with the ends. So now we need to place our flush commands. So I want to flush the left side of my horizontal monkey bars to the left side of the ladder. Apply. Flush the front of my horizontal monkey bars to the front of the ladder. Apply, press cancel, and let's go home. Two attached, two to go. We're going to do this one next. Constrain, we're going to mate, top of the monkey bar ladder, and I'm going to click the front, bottom right, on my world view cube, to go into here. Click apply, and now I need to flush once again, the right side of my horizontal monkey bars to the right side of the ladder. Click Apply, front of my monkey bar ladder to the front of my horizontal monkey bar, and click Apply. Press Cancel. Let's go home to see where we're at. Okay, next, we're going to constrain again. We have one more pull left to do, one more ladder. We're going to click the top skinny end of that, and we can either rotate using the world view cube, or you could use the orbit constraint, whichever one you like best. And I want it to go to the underneath side of this horizontal monkey bar. And click Apply. We can see that it's off once again, so we need to place those flush commands. Flush the right side of the bar to the right side of the ladder. And flush again the back side of the monkey bars to the back side of the monkey bar ladder. Press Cancel. And go home. Now the only thing we're missing are those poles that go on here. On each side there are six, so we're going to end up placing 12 of them. So let's go to place. And here's our monkey, par, monkey poles in our H drive. Click open. And I want to have one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. And one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. Press escape when you're done and let's constrain. Once again taking a look at our drawing we are going to use that insert align insert aligned command to place these poles inside the assembly. Going back to our assembly we're going to choose our insert command and aligned and this should be fairly familiar to you. We want the arrow going up to the hole that's closest to it we can zoom in if you like. Press apply after each one. Arrow going up on a pole to the hole that it's closest to and click apply. These go fairly quick once you get the hang of it. Just make sure you're clicking apply after each one that you place in there. 
Okay. Go home. We got that side all completed. Now we got to work on this side over here. Zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're going and what we're doing. I'm going to take my insert aligned. Click the pole with the arrow going up to the hole that it's closest to. Make sure you click apply after each one. And they do go fairly quick. Oop, I zoomed a little bit out. Let me get that last one down here. Press apply after the last one. Press cancel on your constraint window. And let's go home to see what we created. Hey, that looks awesome. The monkey bar ladders are underneath the horizontal monkey bars. That looks great. Everything looks perfect. Let's go save this. So we're going to go to the orange file. We're going to go down to Save As. We're going to make sure we're in our H drive, first initial last name 000, and assembly was not going to do for a name, so let's highlight that. And we're going to call this Monkey Bar Assembly, and click Save. Great job creating the Monkey Bar Assembly. The next one we're going to move on to is your platform. We'll see you in the next episode.